For the past few months, Race Hans and Jan have been battling to get the CO2 world record. It started with this record here, two years ago, a very strong 38-19 set by Race Hans. This record beat me, who had a 38-30. So he got world record by 11 hundreds. Amazing time. Like, I saw this and I was just like, whew. Jan, an upcoming Trackmania player, started playing like two years ago, managed to beat that when he set a 0.16. So 300s faster, amazing time. Race on strikes back, 38.07, beating him casually by 900s. And somehow Jan takes it back with an 06. And this one was insane, right? This is now 06 versus 07. December. Just look at the difference. Quite equal in the start. Jan goes a bit wide here. Race Hans leading by a tenth of a second. And then Jan pulls off one of the most clutch endings, driving 100th slower than the normal way task of this map in the last 20 seconds of driving. He only lost a hundredth, getting almost perfect speed up the hill, and he's able to snipe it away. From here to the finish, he played within like one or two hundredths of TAS. Crazy snipe, right? 38.06. So you might think, okay, what if you combine race on to start with Jan's end? You would get a ridiculous time. You might even get a 37. One week later, race on drops a 37.97. <laughs> that is what this run is. It is race on own fast start, kind of with Jan's end on top of it. Let's just watch this. It's an absolutely amazing run. I play the map. My personal best is 38.2. This is a full three tenths of a second faster than that again. Gets a great wall bang, low air time, good slide here, and then very important, listen. You have to get an early gear up there with a speed slide. So you slide before the gear to um, increase the RPM of the car and get an early gear change. You have to see your left here. Look at this entry. You want to enter this road from the front of it. The road curves here, so there's an uphill. If you land slightly on this uphill, you reduce air time. If you go too wide though, there's a bunch of bumps on this ridge. So you just want to stay as wide as possible. Race on gets that really good. Now has a good line for this, reduces airtime there. And it's a 37. First time under 38 seconds. So Race Hans gets this run, right? 37.97. We are just stunned, okay? When Race Hans posts this time, all the hunters go like, what the hell? And the impression is kind of like, okay, Race Hans just smoked this new kid on the block. There are like new players trying to claim his records. Race on still the goat. Smoking that Yawn pack. Rip Bozo. Just, just taking a drag, right? Yawn gets back to hunting because there is a shortcut on the map that Race on did not use. Found five years ago. A new CO2 shortcut four years ago. And this video just basically shows proof a shortcut is possible. But there's a big problem. It's right here where you drive originally down on the road. And the idea is that it costs you so much speed to turn sharply here to reach the road that you just jump off the track and connect back to it. This is a more direct racing line. However, Trackmania Nations Forever is very buggy. So when you land down here, the car is going to landing bug 90% of the time, which makes it very hard to get that world record. He basically says, if it wasn't Trackmania 2, you'd have a 99% of chance in TMNF 0.1%. Jan gets to hunting to try to beat it. And in this Discord that we have, he posts a uh, a run of it. So the record to beat is 37.97. This was two weeks ago. I swear to God, man. I feel the He's watching Oxra stream. And here he just jumps off track, somehow avoids landing bugging, gears up early, gets the transition to the road right, minus 12, and faster speed too. Now the ending. Can he keep it up against this near-perfect task ending? He tries, but saves that part a little bit, gets airtime, and... ...unfortunately loses to his PB. It's a 38.08. An amazing time, right? Like, if you look back, the world record on this before they started battling was at 0.19. We would have had it. This one was extremely good. Like, good wall bang, 11.4 checkpoint. Good shortcut. Just not that near perfect ending, right? Proving that, yeah, you could probably do this, but still, you're gonna need a really good one to beat Race Hans. And then something interesting happens. A player called Jules 
post this run to the leaderboards. Just out of nowhere. 37.94. A player that no one has heard of. You're like, who is this guy? Gets the wall bang. Drops to the side of the road, no landing bug. He is two tenths ahead of the... Or one tenth ahead of the John shortcut we just saw. Good turn there. Goes wide here for the road entry. And reduces air time. And he manages to beat race haunts by three hundredths of a second. So CO2 shortcut has just been done for the very first time. His start was a little bit worse, but that's to be expected. If you grind for cut, you know, it's going to continue more bad starts. Gets more speed out of that, though. It's a little bit ahead, and then the low air time onto the road. More speed now because of the shortcut. Able to hold on to that into the downhill. Here, messes up the turn angle a little bit. Raysons gets closer. And then, a really strange approach into the last road. Raysons gets closer again. But, keeps the lead. GG. This run is valid on uh, competitive patch. But, the story kind of doesn't add up. Like, even though the run validates, it's still a little bit weird. For many reasons. Reason number one. Jules here is a Trackmania player who's played since 2008. If you go to his records, he has 561 replays uploaded. If you go to his oldest, right? His oldest record is on AO, AO4. And if you just look up his name here. 188th place, April 2008. Same day the game came out, he posted a time on the leaderboards. So he's not appeared out of nowhere. This is an old school player. You check more of his replays and you find, okay. CO2 is from January 2022. The next seven or so records are from July 2022. And then... If you go to this track, yeah, here, sorry, 2011. So in the last 10 years, he's posted less than like 20 records. So there's like a 10 year gap. He quit the game for 10 years and returned in the summer. Like from this map to this map, 10 years. That's interesting. But maybe he's still, you know, maybe he's still really good at the game 10 years later. Return to, to get a world record with a shortcut that nobody's done before. It could be, but there's more things. Another thing is just the way he drove the map. I've played the map, and these other people as well with times in the low 38s have also grabbed the map a lot. half as Darker. We all just felt his run is kind of weird. The thing we notice, if you compare to the top 30 times on the track, the camera is now on Jules. There's going to be a lot of name tags, he probably turned those off. He had the worst start out of everyone. He's did a bit of a different wallbang approach. And then he went for the shortcut, right? Only player to get the shortcut. Ever. Like, with a fast time. And then notice something here in the ending. Jules goes all the way out here. All the way out towards, like, the pixels of this. Everyone else is kind of on the same trajectory. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to drop into this dirt road. If you go as wide as he went here, there's a chance you hit these bumps and just tilt your car. And it's likely a lot slower even if you use the extra space on the grass. So most of us will try to hit this. Jules went for a line we've not seen anyone do in the ending here. There's a chance he messed up and went for this out of survival. But 9 times out of 10 you will tilt sideways here and lose speed. He was able to survive it and also catch the end. That's how he got the world record. If you look at just this from when all the replays are aligned as well, this edit here aligns all the replays going into last turn. So this is literally 30 cars lined up. You might be able to see the difference. This feels like something you do. he did on purpose. Because most CO2 players will recognize, oh, if I'm approaching the turn from here, I'm going to end up wide. That's why we all go out left. And here he's not steering hard enough to reach that point, so he kind of wants to go out here. And then do this. Something none of us would ever do, right? Which is interesting. So people were kind of suspicious of this one, and they looked into the inputs. And one thing you will see, if we go back to the YouTube video of it, take a look at the input display in the first wallbang turn. I'm going to slow it down for you. Look at the inputs. He's steering full left. Full left. 
What was that? Let's go back. So he goes from full left to this in literally an instant. In the replay data, this is one hundredth of a second. Holds that for a little bit and then back to neutral. Like the, the replay data, and we have it, the replay data, it is an instant. So this is the replay data. This is all the steering values. Normally, a controller steering would look like this. You can see him gradually increasing steering and then gradually decreasing. This is all happening like hundredth by hundredth, right? That's very normal with controllers. What you don't see is just a teleport like that from full steer to a value. Bit of an anomaly in the steering values. The rest is pretty normal. But with that into account, the fact that he also drove weird lines, somehow got the shortcut after 10 years of not playing the game, it's weird. And here's a problem Trackmania players face. Even though the run validates, we don't know if that run is actually valid. People have tried to contact the guy, and he hasn't responded to anyone. The run validates in-game, so where does that leave us now? Like, should this run be allowed on leaderboards or not? I think the only way it is, is if he somehow provides proof of how he did those inputs. And until then, I think it should be deleted. We might be deleting a historic first ever shortcut on the map that he did legitimately. But I think Track Mania Records is reaching a really nasty point where it could also be that we're allowing a cheater record on the leaderboard and we will never really know if it's legit or not unless we get proof, right? For Track Mania players, this right here, once again, is incredibly hard to explain. Just full steer to like half right in one frame and then holding that angle for a little bit. So it's not like he flicked the stick because if he flicks the stick, you will see what happens now. Like in the next few frames. Like you will see, gra you see that? Like gradual increase. This is natural hand movement, right? You see gradual, it doesn't teleport like that. And now we'll see, we'll see. I'm very curious if someone can hit the shortcut. So that is the CO2 story. I don't know what to do. I think the TMX uh, devs have a very difficult call and we'll see what they end up doing. Hello and welcome to the future. That stream was a blast from the past. It happened over one year ago and I'm just going to give you a quick update on what happened afterwards. Shortly after posting his time, Jules' record was removed from the leaderboards by the moderators because they questioned its legitimacy. If Jules could provide them with proof for how he achieved these weird teleporty inputs, then he would be allowed to re-upload the run. But he never did. And so, the run has since been considered cheated, and the world record now rightfully belongs to Race Hans with his amazing 3797. The map still has an undone shortcut and a potential membership in Fastest Way Only up for grabs, so if you're feeling adventurous, then go ahead and attempt it, but it is a lot harder than it looks. And thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed and that your kids are now enjoying college and perhaps your wife is pregnant. I don't know. One year is a lot of time on the internet, but I thought it was better to upload this than to just let it rot away in my folders. So thank you guys for watching and have a great rest of your day or year or life. Bye bye.